You see this? That's me with Santa Claus. Hey guys and welcome to Minimalistic. So today we'll mod my poker 60% keyboard with the help of the good folks at Banggood. They sent over a keycap set and a wooden case just for this video. So I want to thank them as this video was mostly possible because of them and I'll have links in the description to know where you can find these products. So without further ado, let's mod my poker. So to change the case and the keycaps, I'll have to remove all of my keyboard's actual keycaps. While I really like its look as it is, I'm sure it will look even better after the mod. See how clean that backplate is? Well, I just made a video on how to clean your keyboard and I'd suggest you watch it if you still haven't already. So now that the keycaps are gone, I'll remove all the screws found on the plate, as that's how the case will come off. As for the new case, here it is. It looks really good. It comes with a carrying bag, which will be nice for carrying the keyboard around. Now I'll install the PCB in the new case and we'll take a better look at it. So this case is made out of yellow rosewood, but it's also available in walnut. It looks really good and although it's not exactly the same color as my tabletop, I think it looks awesome. It's compatible with GH60 PCBs, which is what most 60% keyboards use. However, some of them like the Ant Pro and maybe even the newest USB Type-C Poker 2 won't fit. That's either due to the placement of the USB connector or the layout of the screws, so yeah, keep that in mind. Also, the case doesn't have flip-out feet as it would have been a bit complicated to implement. The original case doesn't have either, so that's fine. It does, however, have rubber pads under it so that it doesn't slide. Finally, the case also has a cutout for dip switches under the PCB. Now, let's take a look at the keycaps. So I've got this full set of 1976 themed blank keycaps. There's a total of 108 keys, so I won't use all of them on this small keyboard, but I'll have spares for future projects. And since they're blanks, it will be easy to use them on other occasions. These are PBT keycaps, and for those of you who don't know what it means, basically it's a type of plastic that's usually preferred over ABS. They don't wear out, and they keep their color better over time. And since these are blanks, there's no chance the legends could wear out. So they should be quite durable. I'd say they feel great, the finish isn't glossy, more like matte, and they're quite similar to my other PBT keycaps. So I'll go ahead and install them. They're already laid out in order, so it's quite easy to install them without searching for the right spot. And they're installed. And wow, how great this looks. I really like the wood combination with this keycap set. I think it fits really well. This 1976 themed keycap set was available over a year ago on Mazdrap. It was sold as an SA profile set and it was made out of ABS. It also featured double shot legends and it looked quite nice. However, this kit has not been available for quite some time, so it's nice to see that you can still get a similar look nowadays. Even Mazdrap had a wooden case on, so I guess it's a thing. Now, that's cool and all, but I wanted to go all out with this theme, so I decided to mod my mouse and the headphones as well. To do so, I bought vinyl wrap at my local art supply store, so I'll start with the mouse. The first color will be orange and I'll make a stripped pattern. So I applied it and then I used a hair dryer to better mold the vinyl to the shape of my mouse. Shout out my girlfriend for the hair dryer. Now same thing for the red, that one was kind of hard to install and to keep it from having bubbles. The result is not perfect, but it's still pretty good. And finally, the yellow vinyl. This one needed a lot of heat as the curve was quite intense. So here's what it looks like. I'm quite happy at how precise the lines are. The whole thing took over an hour to make, so keep that in mind. Also, I would have liked some teal vinyl to better match the theme, but the store didn't have some, so yeah. Overall, it looks pretty good and that vinyl material is really great to work with. I'll definitely use some on other projects. Now, I'll wrap the headphones. 
so I'll only cover the air cups plates and these are quite easy to remove. And then using one strip of each color, I'll wrap the plates. You have to be patient to get a perfect result, but other than that, it's not that hard as they have a flat surface. And here's the final result. All in all, I'm really liking the look of this keyboard. It stands out and the wooden case is amazing. These items are top quality, especially the case for which the finish is perfect. The board also has a nice weight to it now. So, as I said in the beginning, links to these products will be in the description and I would totally recommend them. So hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to like the video if you did, and as always, don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't already for other cool videos like this one. Winds southerly at about 15 with gusts to 25 miles an hour, barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising, and no precipitation, we're about a half inch behind, correction half inch ahead for the year, and one in 5300 behind.